So, I, you know what's the funny thing, man? Is somebody, like that guy over there for a good example, probably spent a couple hundred bucks to go out 30 freaking plus miles offshore. And we're sitting here jumping sharks and all kinds of shit, seeing tarpon and stuff. It's been a good old time. And we have them all to ourselves, baby. There ain't nobody messing with us. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. This is this is as good as it gets. Oh, did you see that jump? I saw a lot of fish passing through. And now we're going for the sleigh ride, boys. It's heavier than I thought. Are you gonna take me to the Gulf of Mexico? Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for joining me in this video. Got a lot of action coming up ahead. It was a pretty good day out there to say the least. So I'm excited to share this video. It was a crazy tide uh, that was flushing out. So it was really, really tough getting back in. But that is part of the reason why uh, the fishing was so good today. Because those, when this fish can sense that those uh, tides are gonna just flush out really hard like that, they feed really really good before that tie starts to rip so um, stay tuned we're throwing out live pinfish chopped pinfish jacks you name it we're gonna be putting some fins in the air today boys so let's go oh, nothing's getting hit there it goes yes got it fish on See them all over the place. Jack, this will make good shark bait. Fish on. There we go. A lot of fish out here on the flat. Oh yeah. What is this? Another jack. I'll let this one go. Fish on. <laughs> this is cool. But, oh god, there's so many of them following them. Oh, right there. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, they're all around me. Turn and burn. Fish on. Oh, they're hitting it. Oh, yeah. Surface action, boys. <laughs> they're small, but this is still really fun. See them following it and striking it. And I think that's the ladyfish. That would be excellent bait. What do we got? Oh, it was a ladyfish. It was a it jumped off. Yeah, you see him? See him? I'm on. It's a ladyfish. All right, fish on. Let's see if we get him. Oh, no, of course not. That was pretty fun. We saw several of them coming in and chasing my uh, lure and stuff. But now I'm posted up. Uh, some pretty big fish have passed by me and I have the jack hooked up. If he doesn't get taken out quick, I'm gonna hook up some other bait and see what happens. But uh, this, we're on, hang on. This will turn out to be a good day. heavier than I thought. Can I get the second camera on? There we go. 
There's a big one, boys. That is a big one. Oh, he's jumping. I think I saw a jump. Oh, no, no, I'm not going out that way. You're going to take me to the Gulf of Mexico. I'm staying right here. I think he's too big. This one's gonna be too heavy for me. Nope, I can't let him pull me. Still on. Still on. All right, he got spool me. I think I might have hooked up to something bigger than I wanted to. <laughs> there he is. He's big. He's large and in charge. Let's see if we can coax this guy towards the island. He's <laughs> going right towards all the people. <laughs> filming so point it in that direction no just pull the rod out like this there you go Out there. Okay. I yeah, was like, you're right here. All right, guys. Nice spinner shark, I believe. And the reason why he might have been so hard to unhook is because of this right here. He was right in the fin. Right there. So that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, we're going to clip this and let it rust out.
fish on. Oh yeah. That's a spinner. He caught me. That was a shark though. Yeah, he busted off. Boy, the live bait's getting clipped quick. So we're back here on the flats. Back to see on some tarpon and some sharks swimming around. And my friend Clint is on right now. There we go. Let's see if it's a... There you go. It might have been a poon. Yeah, that's a shark. There you go, buddy. Get him, Clint. Are you anchored up? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's dragging your anchor like crazy. Ooh, that sounds like a big one. Yeah, he's a big one. If he's pulling this drag like this, and my drag tight. I mean, I, I can't even turn the knob anymore, and he's pulling it. Yeah. No, that's like his fourth run, too. I'm on. Six foot nurse shark. Fish on. But I'm on mono, so I don't expect this to last. Doubled up, boys. Oh, did you see that jump? He's off. Yeah, I'm on mono. Did you see that freaking jump? Yeah, no, I'm on. That was a big boy. He's off. Maybe he'll come back for it. Feels like he's coming back for it. Yeah, he'll come back for it. I was on live bait. Pinfish. That was a tarpon. Yeah. This guy doesn't have a freaking tooth mark on him. Hey, not a single tooth mark on this guy. That was. I can believe it because they were cruising right by him. This this fish looks like he's been crunched. You can see the rim of a. T I'm gonna save this pinfish and I'm gonna let you uh decide. This fish was definitely bitten by something with a rim for a mouth and sandpaper. This was not a shark. Catfish. <laughs> yeah. It was the world record catfish, boy. All right, guys. So Clint is back on. Clint's on right now, yeah. Scuba Steve is on, boys. Look at that spinner. That freaking action. Oh, shit. That was sick, dude. That nice, nice jumps. Dude, my reel is fucking burning. Let's see with bull sharks. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you something. What What do you think fights harder? As, uh, like, what do you think is the more scrapey shark? A black, between a black tip, a bull shark, and a, and a spinner? Spinner sharks are going to be more acrobatic, in my opinion. So, you get a lot more action out of them, but it's a different kind of action. The bull sharks are just going to pull you all over God's green earth. But do do they do those like crazy insane runs? Yeah, I mean especially right in the beginning. At the beginning? Yeah. When you saw the two bull sharks that I hooked, they almost spun my reel. <laughs> I drag all the way down. Yeah, those, those freaking things, man, they're like, there's a reason why they call them bull sharks. They're so wide. Taco Tuesday over in Mexico and they were heading straight over. <laughs>
All right, people, so you have seen that. It has been a pretty good day. We've had a lot of action here and a lot of double hookups, too. So we're going to get back to it for a little bit, but it's starting to get hot and it's starting to be that dead part of the day. So we're going to give it a little bit longer, see how it goes. The spinner. I hope it's... Okay, Corey hooked up with another fish here. Oh, this one's got some head shakes to him, bro. This feels like a different type of shark. This one, oh god, this one's got some head shakes to him, dude. That was on the cut, uh, it doesn't feel as, as, as heavy, it's just got nasty head shakes. I see them. It's another, it's a, uh, it's a nurse. Oh crap, he's a big boy. That's a big shark, dude. Holy crap. That's big. That's the biggest one I've caught today. Jesus. Yeah, this guy smells ass, dude. Woo. Oh, jeez. Hello, buddy. join me it was crazy trying to get back in like there was some serious like route planning and stuff trying to get back to the beach it was just crazy the tide um but it was a really good day we got we had quite a few hookups today uh i don't know if i, I don't think i got any of it on camera the uh, jumps and stuff but yeah those spinner sharks jumping up out of the air that's, that's crazy stuff and i I think we might have hooked the tarp, but I'm not sure. Um, but it was a good amount of action, and thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next one, y'all.